In this video, I'll show you how to password protect a folder in Windows 11. So if you want to go and protect important documents on your computer from being accessed, then a good way to do this is to place them in a password protected folder. Now to do this, we just need to right click somewhere on our desktop, click on new and select folder. Now you can give your folder a name. I'm going to call this files. And then what you can do is go and add the files into this folder that you want to go and protect and hide. So I'm going to add these two videos here. Now, once you're inside of your folder, we need to right click somewhere in the folder, click on new and click on text document. Now just double click on the text document and we need to go and paste in the following command. Now I'll leave this in the video description so you guys can come and copy and paste this. And all you need to do is come down to where it says your password and you need to go and replace this with your password. So for the demonstration of this video, I'm just going to call this password, but obviously you can go and change this password to whatever you need. Now we can click on file and select save as, change the save as type to all files, and then you need to give this the name of system64.bat and then you can press save. So now once you've done this, close out of the text editor. And now what we can do is just go and right click on this text file and we can go and delete this. Now in order to go and password protect these files, what you need to do is double click on the system64. Now, as you can see, that will create a folder on your computer called private. And what we can do is now go and place these files inside of the folder. Now, in order to go and lock this folder, we can just double click on system 64 once again. And it will say, are you sure you want to lock this folder? Type in Y and press enter. And as you can see, the folder has now disappeared and we can no longer access it. So to go and unlock the folder, you can just double click on system 64 once again. And then you'll need to go and type in the password for your folder. So this will be whatever you set the password to. Obviously for me, I just called it password and press enter. And as you can see, that will unlock the folder. And now we can come inside here and access all of our files. So that's it guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.